Alrighty, welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. Today we are going to look at Rachnar. Okay, so Rachnar, and I like saying it that way, which is probably the incorrect way to pronounce it, is uh, from Far North Spirits, and it's 100% rye whiskey, and it is from a distillery in the very far northern part of Minnesota. It is a distillery that is... Um, field the table, so to speak. Uh, they produce the grains on their farm. They distill, or sorry, on their property. They um, they malt the grains there. They they do all the production there. And uh, on the bottle, they have the latitude of their farm, the latitude of their malt house, the latitude of their distillery, and the latitude of the cooperage. And it's all local to Minnesota. So, this is a 47% ABV, and uh, that makes it a 94 proof whiskey. Um, does it have the city on here? Yes. Distilled and bottled by Far North Spirits Incorporated in Halleck, Minnesota. Less than two years old. Um, and... Uh, I have to say, this is a pretty great whiskey. So we're back in the rye category once again. Um, this one's going to be a little bit harder for most people to get their hands on unless they are in the immediate Minnesota area. Just so happened to be lucky enough that um, a friend of ours came to visit this weekend from Minnesota. And uh, she brought me out this bottle. And um, I did see, shout out to uh, the Whiskey Vault and their review. Somebody sent a bottle into them and they reviewed this actually just a couple of weeks ago. And I meet, once I heard them give the review there, uh, Rex and Daniel, they were talking about some things that I found very interesting. So I quickly texted my friend and said, hey, when you come out, please bring me a bottle of this. She picked up a bottle for herself. Her and another friend of hers managed to kill that bottle fairly quickly. And... Um, she was talking about how great it was, and so, um, oops, bummer, poor spout doesn't exactly fit in there, so there you go. Spillage, lots of spillage, which sucks, because this is a great bottle. So there you go, take a look at that, and crap huh? Alright, as I said, um, the, this series of videos, I'm not going to be, um, reading off of notes or anything like that uh, and because this was a gift from my friend I have no idea how much it cost if I had to guess it has to be somewhere in the 35 to 45 dollar per bottle range um, like most craft spirits uh, so hopefully it's somewhere in there if I'm wrong and it's more please forgive me but whatever price it is it's definitely worth it it's very good um, and uh, so I'm not reading from notes this go round, and so um, we're gonna get what we get out of this. This is just gonna be strictly a whiskey review video on this one. The nose on this is tremendous. Um, it is barely in the rye category. It is caramel and malt grain, very heavy grain. So it. Um, like walking into a grain bin, grain forward, grain dust, oats, I would say oats in there. It has uh, a floral, very light floral component to it, um, lilac maybe. Um, maybe some brown sugar. Boy, there's a lot going on in there. I really do like the smell. The nose of this is excellent. And it has, you know, some fingers in there. It has a little viscosity. Kind of like that, too. Whoa. Okay, so... So much in there. Um, for starters, grain, sweet, sugary... Um, yeah, man, there's a lot in there. So I got grain dust, not corn, but grain. Um, a brown sugar notes, a little bit of vanilla, some oak. 
It moves into like an apple floral uh, light fruit note in the middle. Uh, the, I will say the forward end is sugary sweet, uh, syrupy sh sweet, and then the middle it dries out when you hit those floral notes. Get a little bit of barrel spice on the end. I also get a little barrel up front, but on the finish, heavy black pepper, barrel tannin, a little bit of oakiness in there, young oak, um, and a lot of pepper spice, pepper and grain in the very finish. So, a lot of flavors in here, a lot to explore, well balanced, the mouth feels nice and light, it's dry in the middle, um, which... Some people may or may not like. It's very like a um, like a Sauvignon Blanc, or a, sorry, not a Sauvignon Blanc, um, Cabernet Sauvignon. It's very much like that as far as a wine. Kind of has a similar profile to it with the dry, dry bits on the tongue at the end. Um, just an excellent, excellent whiskey all the way around, and an excellent uh, representative of a rye category and what rye is capable of. Uh, hope they keep up the good work. I'm probably going to have to ask my Minnesota friends to keep supplying this. Um, I got several of them, so hopefully I can keep in touch with those people and keep those bottles coming. If you are so lucky as to be able to go to the Minnesota area or know somebody there or can get somehow get your hands on a bottle of this rye, please, please do it. Um, it is worthy of exploration. So... Uh, as I said, I don't really know the price, but uh, if you do know the price, please drop that down in the comments below. Would appreciate it. Um, and uh, also, you know, let me know what you think of it. Uh, if you've had an experience with this, I'd be curious to see what you think. If not, check out the Whiskey Vault on YouTube, the Whiskey Vault channel, Rex and Daniel. Their review of this whiskey is excellent, and I think it'll intrigue you and uh, probably encourage you to get out there and go try some. Hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys on the next one.